Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Got another series preview here today. We're going to take on the Atlanta Braves from today, Tuesday, June 11th to Thursday, June 13th. Three game set after two back to back four game sets. Um, or else just swept the Tampa Bay Rays after losing the last two in that four game set against the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Orioles are 43 and 22. Like I said, winners are four straight. Uh, two and a half back, the New York Yankees just can't, you know, can't seem to lose. The Dodgers did help us out, giving us two games on them uh, in their past series, but they just beat Toronto or Kansas City last night, and they beat in the Dodgers in that third game of that series. Uh, and the Braves are 35 and 28. Losers are three straight. And are nine back of the Philadelphia Phillies, who are arguably probably the best team in baseball. So yeah, that's the uh, the minor stuff. I think the Orioles have been playing some really good baseball recently. Obviously, this four-game sweep has been fantastic. I thought the pitching was great in this series. Um, offense was really great as well. Um, Gunnar Henderson, still Gunnar Henderson. Ryan O'Hearn can't stop hitting. Adley can't stop hitting. Uh, Westy can't stop hitting. Um, it's just been great, I think. That Chicago Whites, or that St. Louis Cardinals uh, sweep really juice some life into us because up until then we were playing great baseball but it was kind of you know it was sloppy baseball and I think since that since that series I think we've really only only really had two poor offensive games like two poor overall games um but I mean yeah I think this season has been that was a good that's a big good turning point I, I think you can definitely call it the catalyst for this you know second uh, what's the phrase this little stretch that we're having like that was like the catalyst for just a lot of juice going into this intense june and july where you know it could be a pivotal time for us to turn the tide against the yankees but um yeah right, let's get to these pitching matchups game one max Fried versus albert suarez game two spencer schwellenbach versus kate povich and game three ronaldo lopez versus cole Irvin. uh max Fried is six and two over 12 starts with a two what is that 293 era over 73 and two-thirds innings also has two complete games which leads the majors and a shutout uh, really impressive stuff so, so far. Um, I've always liked Max Freed. He's a consistent guy, has good stuff. Just seems like a good guy. Um, has had some bad injury luck in his career, or like a few times, but um, I, I think he's just a really great pitcher. And um, yeah, I mean, he's, just, he's always been there for the Atlanta Braves, just a consistent guy. Uh, Big Al, 2-0 with a 183 ERA over three starts and 13 appearances total. Uh, since he's been, what did I even say? Oh, I'm saying it says, Still has been the benchmark of consistency. Um, I guess that's something I could say about Albert Suarez. I mean, like I said in the last series preview with him, um, he's just been such a you know godsend for a rotation that's kind of had a revolving door of injuries. So it's really great to have this guy who can be like, all right, haven't pitched in 2016 or 2017, come back up here. And, you know, he's going to give us four to five innings of, you know, one to two run baseball. Uh, it's been really great. Uh, I'm really appreciative of big Albert Suarez. Um, and, you know, he was great in the bullpen, too, so once Dean comes back, you know, we could probably bump him in there. And uh, I'm curious to see if the six-man rotation remains a thing um, once Dean's back. But um, I digress. Uh, Spencer Schwellen back. Owen two of his first two career starts. He has pitched nine and two-thirds innings and has an 8.38 ERA. Debuted only 13 days ago. Only 24, 24 years old. And, he, and he's a Braves draft pick, so... Those are all, you know, pretty much recipes for success. The Braves have a really fantastic front office um, and have had some really fantastic, you know, homegrown talent over the last few seasons. You know, Strider, Acuna, all these. Um, I think Max Fried was a Braves draft pick. I don't know. They just have really good front office and an organization. So I'm not, you know, I'm not a Braves fan, but I wouldn't be worried about, you know, Schwellen back starting off like this. And him and Cade Bowich actually uh, were at Nebraska at the same time. I, I found that out yesterday, so that's pretty cool. And about Cade Bovich. Uh, and Cade Bovich's debut against the Jays, he went 5 and one third innings, allowing six run runs on five hits and four walks. Not the best, but um, he was fantastic in the minors. I'm not really worried about him. He has really good stuff. Lefty pitcher, always really valuable. Uh, first start of his career, same thing with Chevelle and back. It's like, you know, this guy was a touted prospect out of the Twins uh, deal for, you know, we got Cano for um, Jorge Lopez. Um, and he's been great in the minors. I think he like led uh, the international league in like every pitching category. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, I might go to the end tomorrow night. I don't know. I might buy some tickets. Who knows? But um, like I said, only 24 years old. I'm not worried about you know one bad start in you know a game where the offense wasn't really there to kind of back him up. But whatever. Uh, Ronaldo Lopez, three and two over 11 starts with a 185 ERA or 63 and one third innings. Um, another Braves devil magic 
um, acquisition right now. A pitcher almost in his twilight years, kind of having a stuff resurgence when they get to the Braves. Like, you know, Lopez kind of had a subpar career prior to this, and then he arrives in the Braves organization and, you know, is top five in the National League in ERA. It's just, you know, it's like clockwork. And uh, Cole Irvin, another great start for him. He's now 6-2. and two. Um, Season two with a two eight eighty seven ERA. Um, went five two things allowing two earned runs. Same thing with Albert Suarez. I think Cole Irvin has also been another godsend. You know, a guy who's going into the season, you know, being like our fifth guy, um, staying healthy, <coughs> going to the bullpen, but still, you know, being having consistent starts uh, since like his first three were kind of struggled. Um, like I said, just another godsend. I think I, I imagine he's going to remain in the rotation. But we want, we actually, I don't know. Depending on how Povich starts, I think, in this game, and once Dean is back, I can imagine, you know, maybe bumping Irvin and Suarez with the bullpen where they were and having Povich be our fifth guy if he, you know, finds his footing. Hopefully he doesn't get sent down once Dean is back. Um, but we'll see. There's a lot of moves, I think, that are going to happen today um, regarding, you know, Jorge Mateo coming back, maybe sending Cedric Mullins down, bringing Heston Kirsten down to back up. I don't know. I'm not a manager. I'm not Michael Elias. I'm not Brandon Hyde. So I guess we'll see. But, um, yeah, three games set against Atlanta. Then we got the Phillies. Then we got the Yankees. So... It's um, it's getting serious. Like I said, this is like, this is the, the real bulk of June. Like these first few series, you know, division opponents, you know, Tampa, Toronto, Tampa, but um, you know, playing two of the best teams in baseball, and also the Atlanta Braves, who are you know three seasons removed from winning the World Series, and still a really good baseball team, uh, with some you know some injury, bad injury luck. Um, this is big. So, it's another you know diamond tester for this Orioles team, that's you know forty three and twenty two. Um, I mean, yeah, what else is there to say? Uh, go O's, as always. This should be a fun series, though. And I think the next series against Philadelphia should be an even more fun series. You know, we have our three aces on the bump against a team that has probably the best rotation in baseball. Pretty cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, go O's, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.